This is Hadi Lisha describing technical tips of how to overcome arterial lusoria during a cardiac catheterization from a right radial approach. Arterial lusoria is the most common congenital anomaly of the aortic arch. 1% of cases, right subclavian artery takes routes from the distal aortic arch and courses behind the esophagus. As you see in this case, the wire behavior suggested that. You can see that the right subclavian artery is the last branch of the aortic arch which is obviously aberrant. We try to advance a stiff angled glide wire slowly down to the aortic root and then a big loop over which the guiding catheter, preferably with hydrophilic coating, is advanced slowly uh, in order to minimize the risk of prolapse. Once the guide is in the aortic root, a deep breathing from the patient would definitely help getting the guide catheter from the right sinus to the left sinus of Valsalva and even with a double loop you can still engage and going straight to a guide catheter would be preferable since once it's seated you can proceed with your physiological assessment or percutaneous coronary intervention. In this case the same Icari guide was used and rotated over a stiff angled glide wire to the right sinus of Valsalva to engage the right coronary artery. One of the tips is to keep the stiff guide wire inside the guide while rotating the guiding catheter. Another trick is to use a 125 or 150 centimeter 4 French diagnostic catheter in a telescoping fashion inside the 6 French guiding catheter then rotate.